First, the Old Mill Shop wishes to express its sympathy for those who in the United States of America are going through this uh, cold spell this weekend. We are minorly inconvenienced by a pipe or two that are stopped up for the moment. It's a very minor inconvenience against no heat or being out in the cold. So anyone who has trouble, you are in our prayers. Also, an announcement for next week. Due to the Christmas New Year holidays, the Old Mill Shop is going to take a uh, one-week uh, break. Instead of new shows, we are going to be replaying our first five Music Minute shows, including the vacation videos, in reverse order, so that All Lang Syne is the Music Minute for 12.30. We will also replay the Old Mill Shop show from October 14th, 2022 on Friday, 1230. This will give me a week to refresh and to spend some time with the kids and get ready for another wonderful year of music in 2023. On with the show. Fine. Let's find those treasures together. I am David Rankin and this is the Old Mill Shop. Greetings fellow shoppers, it's the Old Mill Shop. Merry Christmas. The Old Mill Shop decided to get into the special business for just a, a little bit in the Christmas season. We are currently offering monthly memberships for sponsors on the uh, coffee.com website, ko dash fi period com slash the old mill shop uh, you'll see the website link is also in the video coffee website currently offers monthly playlists for people who commit to a five dollar membership with the old mill shop as a christmas special uh, we're going to offer anyone who signs up for a three dollar membership as a monthly supporter until uh, the end of the day march 31st 2023 if you sign up you will get 12 months of our apple music and youtube playlist assuming you remain a sponsor for those 12 months this is a two dollar a month or 24 dollar a year savings and an added perk to say thank you for our first set of monthly sponsors second as a christmas present we're going to offer some free samples of those playlists there should be a qr code up and in the description for YouTube and for Spotify, there's URLs for the Apple Music playlist of all the songs that we covered on the Old Mill Shop and on the Music Minute in the month of December. There's also a uh, second Apple playlist we're going to talk about in the two-for-one special since it's more appropriate over there. In the first show in January, we will come back and share a link to the Apple Music playlist and the private YouTube playlist for January's music for everyone and for all to share. Then, if you like that feature and you want to keep using it, you can subscribe at coffee.com, ko-fi.com, slash the old mill shop and continue by becoming a uh, monthly supporter of the old mill shop. Today's two for one special at the Christmas ball, Bessie Smith. We do have a separate two for one special for the free playlist, as I mentioned in the previous segment. The songs for last week and this week for uh, the Music Minute and the Two for One Special are blue songs that were collected in the compilation album Blues Blues Christmas by Document Records. That album is not currently on Apple Music and about three or four of the songs that are on the album are not currently on Apple Music, but the rest of the album is through um, other original recordings and other compilations. So therefore, I've created a second playlist, and the QR code should be uh, down in the corner here, and the URL will be in the Spotify and YouTube description uh, for this video, so that you can go and copy this playlist and listen to all of the blues, blues Christmas songs that are on Apple Music. Uh, feel free 
the copy of the playlist contents of the playlist to your own the playlist will be up until at least january 15th so now let's cover the songs for this week's music minute the monday was christmas time blues by bertha hill tuesday was christmas boogie by sugar chili roberts wednesday was papa ain't no santa claus and mama ain't no christmas tree by butterbean and Susie. thursday was let me hang my stockings in your christmas tree by roosevelt sykes and friday christmas and no santa claus by Bumblebee Slim. So we're going to wrap up our Blues Christmas focus by listening to the Empress of the Blues herself, Bessie Smith, at the Christmas Ball. There's no religious content in the song. It's all secular, but it's still a very positive, very catchy, very sweet blues song. She's telling people to have fun. She's telling people that she's going to enjoy the day and they should enjoy the day. Um, She hints at a little drinking, but... uh, as long as you don't get in too much trouble, you're, there's worse things in the world. She's telling people to dance and have a good time. And if their per- current partner's a loss, throw them back. There's other people looking for people to dance with at the Christmas ball. Go find someone else. As she as To quote Bessie from the start, Christmas comes but once a year, and to me, it brings good cheer. That's a good sentiment, and it's a good way to uh, finish off our songs. Let's enjoy the song as presented at the Christmas Ball with Bessie Smith. In the past, I've had my doubts about celebrating Christmas as a committed Christian. We really don't have a good idea about what day or even what month Jesus was born on. At the time, it was considered uh, ungodly to record exactly when you were born. Only kings who thought themselves were as gods recorded their own birthdays. The temple records, which would have shown when Jesus was circumcised and presented at the temple, burned during the sacking of Jerusalem, so uh, we don't have the records that we would have had otherwise. Much of what we celebrate as Christmas are secular traditions. English has the reputation of taking other languages out and mugging them in dark alleys for interesting bits. Christians have an interesting habit of taking pagan holidays out and mugging them for interesting parts that to go along with their secular celebrations of religious holidays. But as Paul tells us, when we know that the pagan meaning has no meaning, then the pagan meaning is irrelevant and we can ignore it as Christians. As a practical matter, Paula and I always had to figure out where we were going for Christmas, which part of the family we got to, and when, and who's first, and who's second. And there always seemed to be a fight going. Going on. Even now, I have negatives to threaten the positive. I don't have my wife this Christmas again, and God has seen fit to withhold uh, another companion so far. The families are smaller each year, and there still seems to be fights, and it's even harder to get a group together to celebrate a holiday. Inflation attacks my savings. My weight loss of temps have just attracted extra pounds. The hair's a bit gray, especially the beard, and every time I'm Think about the old aches. I forget them because of the new ones. (laughs) But when it gets too heavy, sometimes you just have to sit there and remember the season. The great philosopher of the 20th century, Charles Schultz, summed it up well on the Peanuts uh, Christmas special. I can't improve on the text, but I can read it. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Luke 2, 8-14 from the English Standard Version, copyright 2001, Crossway Bibles. It's important, whether you're a Christian, whether you believe something else, it's still important. This is a time of year to to take 
Uh, it's important that we take a moment that we realize that God made the seasons for us and not us for the season. This this season, like the others, is a gift for us, not a punishment. We need to relax. We need to bask in God's gift. And then we need to rest in his love. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, for those who practice other holidays, I hope your holidays are going well as well. And we will see you again in 2023. Until then, I hope you find a new to you song that you enjoy. Please come back for the next episode of The Old Mill Shop. Thanks to Apple for use of the Samantha voice. Thanks to Zapsplat at www.zapsplat.com for theme song and incidental music. Copyright David W. Rankin Jr. DBA The Old Mill Shop Music Experience